Hey guys, James here, back with another video. So today I've got an unboxing of this. This is the flash drive. So pretty much what it is, is on one side you have a uh, lightning connector and then the other side you have a USB connector which also doubles up as a micro USB connector as well. And on the side you can see here you've got an SD and then a micro SD uh, slot. So this is from the Gearbest kind of um, series of unboxings. And I picked this up for about $10 um, Australian, um, which is not bad. So what it claims to do is being able to use it as a storage device on your iPhone as well as your Android device, um, obviously using um, an SD card. So I've got a micro SD card here. I've got the Samsung 128 gigabyte um, 850 Evo. So let's just unbox this and see what we get inside. So I don't expect to find much except the product itself. Yep, no instructions, literally just the product itself. Now, just looking at the product, it does feel pretty pretty good quality. Um, it, it feels decent, it doesn't really feel like it's cheap um, by any means. Um, and I kind of already saw that from just looking at the, in the box itself. The clips are really good, they don't feel cheap at all. They do feel really tough and really durable. So let's just take these clips off and let's get a nice close look at this. So. You can see one end is reversible lightning, you, your other end is USB, and then you have this interesting Android connector. All right, so I figured out how to open this thing. Essentially what you have to do, now to push this back, you have to press this blue center button, and then it goes back in. You see this blue line? You have to pretty much grab a nail, and then pull that out, and then there you go. That's That's the, USB done now. It is blue, so I'm assuming it's USB 3. I really do hope it's USB 3. Okay, let's just start with the Android. So I'm gonna put the flash memory in here. All right, and then stick this. Okay, so card reader USB drive for transferring photos. And it appears as a normal local storage. Pretty simple. So. All right, so I have these two screenshots, uh, these two images which I, which I took from New Zealand. So I'm just gonna paste it here. Okay, so they're there. I'm just gonna stick it in, see what happens. Okay. Okay, so the accessory uses an app you do not have installed. Would you like to get it from the App Store? So let's just go to the App Store. All right, iFlash device. Okay. Okay, so pretty pretty easy. You just have to slot it in and it will download it straight away for you. So this is like, this is that thing. So iFlash device free. Okay, so let's just open this up. All right, so app storage, device storage. So this is the stuff that you can access from device. The app storage, I'm not sure what app storage means. Okay, so let's just say music. Okay, so let's just say I want to copy real love. So I want to do that. I want to go into device storage and I want to copy it to here. So now my song is actually in this device. That's actually pretty, pretty handy. So launching the thing again, um, for example, let's do backup. Um, let's do a backup. So it can backup contacts. So let's just say, let's do that. Okay, I don't have any contacts, so it won't let me do that. Say so camera. Nope. Not sure what that means, video. So I'm assuming maybe I can record directly into the device storage itself. What settings do we have? I have instructions. So they have a user manual, which is really handy about all the stuff that you can do, zoomable and everything. So that's actually really, really handy. It's not it's not bad. You can show hidden files, touch act. Touch ID access, obviously I don't have a touch ID. Just gonna control, cache, auto update, you can format as well. And then you can look through different albums that I have. For example, these are some panoramic photos that I um, have taken. So let's just select all and let's just say, uh, pick, oh. select all, done. 
and I'm going to move it to device storage and I'm going to now the thing is I can't create folders that's the annoying thing as you can see there's no option to create the folder um, but let's just say uh, yeah let's just copy now these are pretty big files so that's why the copy rate is pretty slow there you go so that's done so overall this device is actually pretty handy so let's just turn it around put it in here again um, just we like to communicate so just say allow and then it does appear in here with all the stuff I can create a new folder and then I can move that within that pretty easily now I can view easy enough let's just say I wanted to download then I can just say save image um, or I can send it and do whatever I want with it. For example, if I listen to it. So it has a built-in music player as well. So it's actually a pretty nice app, pretty nice app and all for $10 and it comes free with this device as well. Um, so just for argument's sake, let's just say I want to use um, an SD card. So essentially it's the same thing. All right, clicking it in. Again, just allowing that and then everything is there. And would I be able to use two cards at the same time? Let's try that. So I just have this um, SD card here. So I'm just gonna quickly plug this SD card in, launch the app. We unplug that, plug it back in. Oh, there's a glowing light, a blue light there. Now it looks like it can't distinguish which one to use. So if I take one out, let's try that again. Allow, and there you go. And so now it is working. So you can't use two at once, you can only use one, but it is a pretty functional um, thing to have. Now let's try this on Android. If I was to use two at once, so again, it's confused, doesn't know which one to use. So if I take out one, yep, there you go, so it's appeared. Um, so I think the blue light comes on when it's trying to say, hey, something's wrong. Um, you can't use both of these at once. And of course this can fit on a USB. So it's actually really, it's really handy. Um, arguably better than the OTGs that are available um, on the market currently from like, you know, SanDisk and whatever. $10, you get this device, it allows you to use it on an iPad, on I, pretty much any device which has um, a capable lightning connector, as well as an Android, any Android device, and you just download the app and for, for Apple and use an SD card or a micro SD card, whichever one kind of suits your needs, um, either one will do. And you just plug it in and down the app from for Apple and you're ready to go. Really, really easy, really, really convenient. Um, I actually, I just, I just really love it. And again, the build quality is really, really good. Just note that the SD card, you do have to mount it upside down. So do take note of that. Just look inside and see where the golden connectors are and just orientate it towards that way as well. Um, but ultimately, really, really good product. $10, you can't really beat it for that price. Highly recommend it. If you want to do storage on your phone, if you, for example, if you're traveling on a trip um, and you just want to get photos off your iPhone um, or Android, then this is probably the best one for you to do. Um, and plus you can just load it onto the same device, have the same thing plugged in, just plug it on different things. And then for example, your friend has an Android phone, you have an iPhone and you both want to just download the footage into a hard drive. The easiest way to do it is plug it in, copy the photos across, plug into the Android, copy the photos across, and then plug it into the computer, and then copy those, all those photos across in there as well. So very easy to do, very simple, very affordable, very cheap. Highly recommend it. iFlash Drive, GearBest, leave a link in the description below so you guys can get that. It gives me a little bit of kickback as well and helps the channel to grow and continue to make more videos like this. So I hope you like this video. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments about this particular product or any other things um, or any other questions that you may have. And I'll try to get around to answering those for you as soon as I can. Subscribe to see more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys in the next one.